Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. This is episode number five, and this is my co-host. Hi. So today we're talking about valuations around companies and how to value a company, how to, how to look at a company in the short term and the long term, and what kind of things we can look at to decide on whether to invest in a company or not. I've got five questions I'm going to ask Daddy. Okay, my first question is, how do we know what is a good company to invest in? How do we know what is a good company to invest in? Well, first of all, you want to know what the value of a company is. And then you want to figure out whether it is undervalued or overvalued or its fair value. The valuation is when you get all the shares and, the, and you multiply it by the price of the share. So, so if you, a share was one dollar or one kina per share and you had a million shares. You would have a million dollars? Kina? The company will be worth how much? Right, so that that's the valuation of what a company. About a billion. That's if you have a billion shares and Can you? each kina, each share is one kina. Yeah, it's possible. Yeah, but it's not likely to be one kina. It can be. It can be, but but not all of them are. It doesn't matter if the price is high or low. What matters is what kind of profit are you getting from each share. So if you have a million Kina company and it's making no profit, is that a good company to invest in? Yes. It's making no profit. No. That's not a good company, right? Mm -hmm. So there's an easy metric to understand whether you're making the company's making enough profit for the price of the share and that's called a price to earnings ratio oh. pe ratio so you can check that on some of the stocks it's easy to check on google you just google the the stock like kina and and uh, steamships and bsp these are on the PNG Stock Exchange and they're still and this they're also on the Australian Stock Exchange. So what's a P ratio stand for? Physical education. Hmm? No. Price to earnings. Price to earnings. So it means the price that you're paying for one share, are you getting the price that you're paying for one share versus the earnings or the profit that you're getting for that price that you're paying for a share. So if we say this company is worth one million kina because it has one million shares and each share is worth what? One kina? Yes. Then if this company made, if it made 200,000. One billion. Nah, one million. It can't make one million. It can make one million, two, but that's too expensive. Two hundred K. Yes, if it makes two hundred K versus another company that's the same valuation at one million, and this other company made five hundred K, which one's a better company? Five hundred K. Exactly, so that's as simple as that. So when you have a P ratio, P ratio, the lower the number is. Price to earnings. Yes, price to earnings. So the lower the number is, that means the more profit you're getting for the price that you're paying for a share. So ideally, we want to find out what the valuation is of a company. Because when we find out what that is, we can figure out the, whether the company is overvalued or undervalued. And using the P-E ratio, that helps us determine whether it is or not. Unfortunately, on the PNGX, 
there is no way to find out what the market cap is. Market cap is another name for the, the total valuation of a company. So there's the only real way you can double check is to go into the, uh, the last financial results, the last financial year results, and you can go to the website pngx.com.pg and then you'll have the list of all the current public companies that's um, that's on the PNGX you can select any of the companies here I got I'm going to KSL Kina Security Limited and it'll have here all the announcements selected announcements and these are all the latest media releases that's come out for Kina Securities and I'm going to go down here to the financial year of 2023 results select that and then go down to this link here and a PDF copy will come up and the easiest way to find it is to search for it so we can look for shares So here it has weighted average number of ordinary shares outstanding. And this is it here, 286,935,900. And so if you multiply that by the current price of the share, which is, last we check was 290, 290 times the outstanding shares comes to 829,214,110. So that's 829 million is the, it's like net worth of a company. So it's a market cap of the company. And we want to figure out whether that's overvalued or undervalued. When we talk about the price to earnings ratio, we can look for the EPS, so they have it here already at the top here, earnings per share, and it has here 36 point, so you can also just search that, but yeah, this will come up, basic EPS is 36.67, and that is your earnings per share, and so the way to figure out the P-E ratio is by dividing the share price, which was 290 last week check, by the earnings per share, which was 0.36 Toya 67, and that's 7.9, P-E ratio of 7.9, which is a single digit, which is very very cheap for a, a bank and essentially that's saying in eight years you're basically getting back a hundred percent of your investment back and the other way to look at it is this is market cap over the profit or 882 million over 105 million which was the actual earnings for so the other way to look at it is uh, 100 divided by 7.9 is 12.65%. So you're expecting around 12% every year. And a return of 12% every year from a bank is very good. Compounding that amount can come to some really good numbers in the long term. If we look at other companies like the Commonwealth Bank of Australia, because that's what you have to compare um, a company by, is another company that's in the same sector. 
So Akina Bank compared to Commonwealth Bank, you could see the PE ratio for this one is 20. And 20 is quite high actually. So you really you want something that's around 15 or less. And if you get in below 10 in the single digits, that's that's what's considered a very undervalued stock. We can look at another one here. This is ANZ Bank. And that's trading at $29. Like, even though the prices are different, that's not what you want to really look at. You want to look at how much profit you're actually getting for the amount of, for the price of the share that it's selling at. So this one, the PE ratio here is 12.78. So that's that's quite reasonable, and it's uh, it's below 15. So it's it's quite a basic value for for a bank, and but when you get in, into your single digits, like I said before, under 10, that's becoming very cheap and. Most value investors would consider a bank at a P ratio of seven very low. Um, BSP Bank is at approximately seven to eight. It's about eight, slightly more, but still a very cheap bank. And I think Credit Corp is even even cheaper. It's at a P ratio of about four point five or five. Okay. The second question. Second question is what do you look for in a good company or any company? So a company that's a strong company that has very few competition. Can you name one that's way ahead of its competition? Apple. Yes. What about in PNG? Any company that's way ahead? BSP. Of yes. BSP. Is not bank security. Kina Bank is second to to BSP, but it has a lot of room to grow. So you. But it's good still. It so is a very good company good. because some people will say Kina Bank is better than BSP because it has more earnings for more profit for each share compared to BSP Bank. So. Those are different things that you can look at. Okay. Why do we need to understand the company's valuation? To understand whether we are paying too much for a share or the fair value or we're paying under the... Let's use this for an example. If you go into a shop and you see a small bag of lollies Selling for 50 kina. That's not fair. Is that overvalued or undervalued or fair value? Overvalued. Yes. So you don't want to pay too much for a bag of lollies. And it's the same thing with a company. You don't want to pay too much for a company share. Now, what if you go into the shop and you find a bag of lollies that was worth 50 toya? 50 toya? That's underpriced. Undervalued. Under yes. So that would make a good that's buy. Good. So that's why you have to understand the valuation of a company or a product, whatever you're buying, so you can understand what you're actually paying for it. Okay, my fourth question is where do you go to find its valuation? Quite simply, the valuation of a company is the price of the share times the number of shares there are. And where you can find that information is in the annual reports that they come up with every year. That's where you find the valuation. So we have, uh, you, you mentioned it's a one million Kina company. And then your job is to find out whether it's undervalued or overvalued or fair value. Fair value. Right.
My last question is, when should you invest once you found a good company? Some people, they like the time, the market, like if the price has gone down, that's a good time to buy. Sometimes they time it with the dividends, just before the dividends is about to come up, they buy into a stock. But generally, the sooner the better. If you wait too long, then it might go up and get expensive, and then you miss your opportunity, and that's the famous last words that we always hear is, I should have invested earlier. Okay. So, Michelle, yes. our investments, our uh, 1,000 Kina shares in Kina Securities has gone up to 2,950, and we're still yet to get our dividends, but we're not sure if we're gonna get Dividends in as in more shares or paid out. So we have to wait and see in April what they're gonna How many shares are gonna give us apparently it'll be around 59 new shares so We'll wait and see what happens and we'll update everybody on the channel again So thanks everyone for joining us for this video. We'll see you all at the next video Looking subscribe if you haven't yet, subscribe, like, and we hope you learned something new. Turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified every time we make a new video. And if you have any questions, put them in the comments, comments. below. And we might mention them in the video. Bye, everyone. Bye.